why are you supporting the red flag laws? Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, seen here real life trolling school shooting survivor David Hogg. In a couple years, she's gone from local conspiracy theorist to the epicenter of Republican politics. Green has gotten riled up about many different conspiracy theories, but she's especially notoriously focused on crisis actors. He has nothing to say because he's paid to do this. Professor Stephen Lewandowski studies the spread of misinformation. For some people, a conspiracy theory offers psychological comfort. And that is because you're replacing a random event that's uncontrollable with the assumption that there are some really bad people out there planning all this stuff. After a tragedy, a mass shooting, a deadly building collapse, we're left asking questions like, how did this happen? How do we prevent it? Big, painful questions. So painful that some people decide it's easier to believe the tragedy just never happened in the first place. Enter the crisis actor. Like a lot of internet era conspiracies, it's hard to tell who originally ran with it. But motherboard editor in chief Jason Kobler found the first online use of the phrase. In 2012, a Colorado company sent out a press release that got picked up by local papers, advertising a quote, group of actors available nationwide for active shooter drills and mall shooting full scale exercises. The company called them crisis actors, who would, quote, bring intense realism to simulated mass casualty incidents in public places. Some of them had even performed Shakespeare. The press release might have passed without note, but just a few weeks later, 26 people, 20 of them children, were murdered at Sandy Hook Elementary School. You have to understand that any frightening event that makes people think that they've lost control will give rise to conspiracy theories. You are using your lobby and the money behind it and the kids to try to take away my Second Amendment rights. You don't have anything to say for yourself? According to these conspiracy theories, the bad guys are government agents trying to take away everyone's guns. So the idea of government-sponsored crisis actors also becomes a reason citizens need more access to higher-powered guns. What a conspiracy theory is, it's a get-out-of-jail-for-free card. You know, there's a lot of people who say climate change is a hoax, right? And then they, they can buy a big truck, uh, a gas-guzzling, you know, pickup truck. How is it that crisis actors as a concept, as a conspiracy theory, can maintain its validity when it's so obviously false, when there is direct corporal evidence to its contrary? Conspiracy theories tend to be deeply logically flawed. And the way conspiracy theorists consider evidence is also not compatible with normal cognition. So for example, if a doctor says, I examined the bodies, and there really are dead people out there. If you're convinced that something is wrong, then what you'll say is, oh, well, of course, the doctor is in on the conspiracy as well. It's been hired by the government to obscure the evidence. And then, you know, they may discover that this person was standing in a checkout line at a supermarket next to George Soros 10 years ago. Bang, there is your evidence. So what do you do if one of these conspiracy theorists is in, say, Congress? According to Lewandowski's research, conspiracy theorists exist on a sort of spectrum. So it kind of depends. Most aren't deep believers. You know, at least get them to listen to what you have to say, and that might change their mind. But for true believers, it can be difficult or impossible to pull them out of the rabbit hole. The best analogy we have is um, people who are part of cults or people who are part of extremist groups. That is more a process of therapy than it is a process of debunking because you really gotta work with these people very slowly, establish a rapport, and then maybe over time you can deprogram them. And you really lose these people. You know, it's, it's, it's non-trivial when somebody becomes completely immersed in that theory. 